a guy that was in prison, it's been 10 years, man, I really don't know who he was. Like, tell you the truth, like, I don't even think like him. I, I don't even know, I, like, I look back and think of the guy that that was, it was just some poor, pathetic guy. It wasn't really even tough or crazy, just put some pathetic guy who made a lot of decisions based on fear. You know, a whole life based on fear and smoking screens and like, a real dark time in my life, you know. I, I wasn't taking care of myself spiritually at the time. And, I really couldn't, I don't think. I wasn't willing to, or I don't know if I was able to. And I needed to go through what I needed to go through, and he was there the whole way through me, man. From the beginning to the end, uncompletely unjudgmental. He would just lay next to me like it was another day. And he knew when I was hurting. He would just lay next to Kevy, and you know, there were Kevy, crazy Kevy. Kevy was on my couch, and Dina was on my couch kicking dope, and most of them were sick, poor, and hungry, and weird, really weird people. And he would just, he just didn't know they were weird. All my friends got stories about that dog. My buddies that would come and stay at my pad, they were having hard times, you know. My fucking dog would get right next to him, you know. He would get right next to him and he wouldn't leave. He was just so loyal. He was just so down for the guys I loved and that dog knew it. He showed me through his example how to love and I loved him. I don't think I showed him how to love. I think he showed me how to love. It's time for him to go on moto. I know it. He's in a lot of pain, I can tell. I can't keep, you know, like, for my own comfort, you know? Yeah, we're doing a documentary on it right now. We're finishing off the five hours of what he comes about him. I talked to Cynthia this morning. So it's like, we're doing the right thing. And I'm like, thank God I have people that know what's going on. Dude, he was so rad, dude. Odin stayed with Cynthia because I was, I moved into a different place and they wouldn't let dogs in and it's five flights up and my place had five flights of stairs and we were thinking about, you know, we were like, we can't take him. I, I knew he was, dude, I knew he was going to die two months ago. I knew it. It was my own childish fears of like, I'm going to miss you. Don't go, you know, don't go, you know. It may sound crazy, but his, he had like a, some universal job, or like God gave him some job to do here and take care of people, you know? He wasn't blocked by what clothes he was wearing or what car he had or what crew he was hanging with or what friends or who was popular or what would make him look good. He was just all about helping, man. Just like, you know, hey, you're sick on my couch, you're my friend, you know what I mean? Let's say goodbye to Odin. Oh, yes. You tell me how it is. Go say hi to Jesus. Tell him we're coming. We're coming soon, okay? You tell Jesus we love him. And you hang out, keep an eye on him. Huh? He'll give you a new leg, Bob Becker. He'll give you a brand new leg, and you'll be all good. I want to be the man, you know, I want to be, I can just put this dog down, John Wayne it, man, but it's not me, Elmore, you know, I'm not that tough, man. I'm really, I'm a soft dude. I'm really a sensitive dude, I've come to find out. The older I get, the more sensitive I get, man. And thank God. Their whole job is to serve, I think. And like I told Odin, you know, his job was done. Your job's done, your champ, okay? You know, his job was done, man. There's no way of denying that. Go see his cave. Go see his boy. Go see his with daddy's cave. It was my own childish fears. You can't leave me because I'm going to miss you. And I think he was way beyond that. You know, it was just like, I'm going, champ. I got to go sometime. You know, don't make me stay here any longer. Huh? He knew it. He knew it. He knew he was going. He knew his time was up. Every time I was around him, he was running and enjoying. Just like you are. That dog was in pain, and that dog needed to go. He didn't want to be here no more. Oh,
I try to stay open for people, you know? And try to let people know the truth. You know, about how I feel, you know? And uh, God is love. Love is God, you know? And uh, God was that dog I held today. Yeah, he just showed me unconditional love. He did. And by that, I think I, I learned to love people, I think, a lot more.